this video from samforesthelp.co.uk we're looking at uh, how to process returns on the NR510R register. Um, so on the machine in the register mode you have a merchandise return button here um, so if you need to refund a, an item you can do so in the reg mode really simply. All you do is enter the item exactly as you would do as if you were selling the item but you press the return button first. So here merchandise return enter the item and then cash the sale off in the correct method of payment for this return. If you've got the receipt switched on you get a receipt print out and the information is also recorded on the end of day report. So if it's an open PLU that you need to return again merchandise return type in the amount without pressing the decimal point and then press the appropriate PLU button. So it's just like doing a sales transaction but you press merchandise return to start with. Again it's crucial to press the correct method of payment so that your reports add up at the end of the day. What we'll do is we'll just show you how they appear on your X reading. So if we do an X financial report which is the same as your end of day Z report except it doesn't reset and we'll have a look for we're looking for the return so we can see so far today we've done three returns for a total of £13.50. I've got more videos showing you how you can protect your till security by locking or limiting access to the return button. Um, so you can check those out if you're looking to tighten up on security. Uh, I've got more playlists showing you how to get the best out of the NR500 series. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.